Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tony, the owner of Homeowner Repair. So in this video, I'm over at Steve's garage and uh, we're about to do an oil change on this 2005 Kubota uh, tractor that's behind me. It's a BX23 and it has a Kubota motor in it. It's a four cylinder diesel motor. Yeah, model number on the valve cover is a D905. So I'm um, probably wearing a whole lot of motors that came in these tractors, but that's what this one happens to be. So if you have the same one, this is how the engine, this is how to change your oil on your Kubota tractor. So we went to the Kubota dealer to pick up some oil for it. And this is what the dealer recommended. This is uh, 15 weight 40, SAE 1540, three quarts. And here's a Kubota oil filter that we picked up. The oil filter number happens to be, this is what the dealer recommended. It's an HH150-32094. Um, so that's what they recommended on this particular tractor that we're working on. So we're going to start by doing the oil change. We're going to take the oil cap off the engine, um, crack this thing loose. It'll help let the oil drain out a little quicker when you pull the plug out. Um, this sat overnight. It hasn't ran today yet. So, so we'll sit that there and then we're going to go down and pull the, uh, remove the oil drain plug. So we got a 14 millimeter socket. Our oil drain plug is right here. Here's the pan next to these hydraulic lines. We're gonna crack that loose and drain the oil and then go over and get the filter. The filter's mounted on the passenger side, screws into the side of the engine. Um, we're gonna use a, to show you the wrench that we're gonna use with an extension to get in there. The little harness that we have to move out of the way. And we're gonna let this drain and as we're letting it drain, we're going to check our tire pressures, grease the chassis, and we'll screw the filter on. And it's got a little brass o-ring on the plug here, you can see. So before we put this on, we'll wipe it down clean. And we're going to just let this thing drain all the oil out of it while we're doing the rest of the work on it. So we're using one of these tools that just clips onto the oil filter with an extension socket. And Tony can zoom in over here. We're coming in. The oil filter is right here on the side. And we're going to move the harness up and we'll crack the filter loose. We have the bucket underneath on the floor, so it should drain in there good. Okay, that unscrewed nice. Make sure we catch all the oil. Like you said, you're gonna move the harness up out of the way. We'll unscrew the filter. And then pull it through this hole. Everything's tight on this thing. And it does come out. Now we want to make sure that the o-ring and the surface of the block is clean so you can look in there and you can see that that looks clean we're going to wipe it down and we'll put some clean oil on the o-ring of the new filter so we have a new oil filter we're going to put a little oil on the seal here and then we're going to screw it onto the side of the filter and you pretty much got to get it hand tight and just a little a little more than that and uh and that should do it all right let's go screw this on there it goes it's actually almost right up against the lower radiator hose. It's very, very snug. And as you tighten it up, it gets clearance from the hose. So, just 
don't strip it. Take your time putting it on. All right, I got it hand tight, and I'm gonna put the tool back on it and just give it a little bit more. You know, these diesel tractors, they vibrate, and you just wanna make sure that when you put stuff on, it's tight. Okay. That's it. We're gonna, the oil has stopped draining, so we're gonna put the drain plug back in. So we clean that drain plug. We're gonna clean the pan area. Throw the plug back in. Want that snug? Don't over tighten it. Wipe it dry. And we're going to put the oil in it. And then we're going to check all the tires and grease everything. So we're going to refill the oil now. We have a drain plug in. We have a filter tight. Um, and we're going to refill the oil. The dealer gave us three quarts. So I'm assuming it takes three, but we'll check it after we're done filling. And this is 1540 grade motor oil. This tractor I've used personally, um, and it does, it may be small and cute, but it's a workhorse. It really does a lot. And bottom line is it beats shoveling, but it has done a lot. And I'm very impressed with the size of it and what it can do, so. All right, we'll check our oil level. This may take a little minute or so to get down to the bottom. Probably not though. All right. So here's our fill mark, it says Between these two dots right here so we were up to about the four here and let's double check it yep we're in the safe zone so as this thing runs the filter will fill up it'll drop down a little bit but we're well within the zone where they want it so we're good takes three quarts And put your cap back on. Yeah. Get that cap tight. Sometimes you spin the cap backward to get it to start, then it goes on. We talked about how tight everything is here. On our previous video, we changed this 
heater hose here and, and there's certain ways of routing it and it goes underneath the air cleaner it's not touching the alternator bracket anymore um, we have clearance down here but everything is very tight and goes in a certain spot on this so you have to make sure everything's in its right spot because when this thing is running and diesel and shaking it's going to wear and rub things so we don't want that to happen so you want to secure everything um, so that it's not going to rub on anything this this machine moves around when you're out using it so and it's a diesel it's going to vibrate so everything's secured and in this place and rooted in a certain direction for a reason try and stay within that when you work on these Thanks for watching the video, so that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.